What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword walkthrough. Okay, so our 10-year anniversary continues right here, and we have to go somewhere else. I don't even know. I don't even remember. I mean, it's been a while. I'm just playing, guys. So, in our last episode, we managed to get our Pokedex from the Professor, and we managed to beat our rival again. Also, we got ourselves uh, another team member right here, Michelangelo. He's uh, he's actually joining Shadowblade and Optimus right here. While we go on to our adventure, and uh, well, from what it says right here on the menu, you should make your way back to the train uh, station in Wedgehurst. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing right here. Now, before we go anywhere else, our rival Hop is going to be right here saying, One last thing before we race, Draven. See, I've got some great advice for you. Really? You don't say. Coming from the guy that I beat plenty of times and all that stuff. Well, as you can see right here, he says, You know how sometimes you see Pokemon wandering around uh, about uh, on the tall grass, yeah? If you move real slow, like crouch down, those Pokemon won't pay, attention, uh, pay you any notice. Well, you don't say. But on the other hand, if you whistle at them, you'll sure catch their attention. If... If they're a bit rubbish at whistling, just remember this. Uh, th remember this. Need a fail-proof trick? Press the left stick. Really? Try it out. Let's see who can catch the most Pokemon, Draven. Okay. Alrighty. You remember Wedge Station, right? Where we went to pick up Lee before. That'll be the goal. See you there. Okay. Well, he's gonna race away. So now, what do you mean? What he means is, if you press the stick button right here, you're going to be getting the attention from all these Pokemon right here. Now, I want to capture you, but I want to capture this guy first. Alrighty, so he's finally appeared, and it is Yamper. Now, yeah, I've been wanting to capture this guy just for a while because he is an Electric-type Pokemon, and he could prove useful in the first few, you know, few, first few parts of our adventure right here, as you can see. It's using the Nuzzle attack. Michelangelo is still a uh, oh wow, he is still a Water type Pokemon. So we gotta be careful with this guy right now. Now I did say in the last episode, the last two episodes, that I will be featuring some Pokemon that I've used in the past. Now this is well within the whole Pokedex that we have right here. Um, after this episode, I believe it's after this episode, I will be. I will be training up my Pokemon just a little bit because in the next route, you guys, you guys are going to see how amazing it is. Now, I'm going to be using a Great Ball right here to capture this guy. Let's go. Get this ball right here. Stay in the ball, Yamper. Come on. Be my friend. And throwing out that piece on, guys. So there it is. We caught ourselves a Yamper, the Electric-type Pokemon right here. And look at our Pokemon are growing ever so steadily right here. Now, here it is, going into the Pokédex. It's going to be saying, Yamper, the puppy Pokémon. It is an electric-type Pokémon, 29 pounds, close to that 30. This Pokémon is very popular as a herding dog in the Galar region. As it runs, it generates electricity from the base of its tail. Now, eventually this Pokémon evolves into a Baltund, I believe, and it kind of reminded me of something. It reminded me, the name reminded me of a, of a movie that I watched back when I was in, in, in elementary school, so... It's only fitting that I give this guy that name, and wow, <laughs> I accidentally pressed the B button. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to get back on that for a little bit. Now I am going to capture that Pokemon there too because you can never have too many Pokemon right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch out to Shadow Blade right here, and I'm going to capture this guy. All right, what's up? Look at this, a Nickit. And Nikit, or I don't even know how to pronounce that, but it is still a good Pokemon. So let's go ahead and try and capture this guy. It is a dark type Pokemon. Eventually, he evolves into a Thievil. Thievil, I love that. I love that name, including the design because it does have those little, like evilish, uh, that evilish mustache that you would normally find in criminals. So here we go. Quick, a quick attack right here. Shadow Blade's getting its butt kicked, but here we go. Peg attack. Damn it! You had to win, man. You had to win. Okay, never mind. Okay, well, look at that. We get more experience points. That is okay. There are more of these Nikits out uh, where, uh, somewhere. So let's go right ahead and uh, continue our adventure right here. We already defeated everybody. Now, I still want to capture that Nikit somewhere. 
can't you can't find them around here somewhere but like it oh there it is well wow. all of a sudden these yampers are starting to appear kind of bugged me because in the last episode I tried to capture this guy and uh, wasn't uh, that fun right there so I'm gonna get away from this guy because it is an electric type Pokemon and well let's see yeah I'm going to I'm gonna start capturing some more Pokemon later on training up my Pokemon because uh, yeah Draven likes to overpower people now what I was mentioning before guys I I am going to feature different Pokemon onto this thing uh, this game actually did teach me how to how to actually maintain multiple teams and it also gives you the ability to actually grow every single Pokemon within your PC it doesn't matter how many Pokemon you have but you can grow them all by just doing jobs so what we're going to do right now is uh, we actually have to go to the train station but I do need to heal my Pokemon right now but of course Hop is gonna be in the way he's gonna be like come on Draven you'll never beat me to the station at that pace well would you look at that this guy is just like yeah he's 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 walking away okay so what I'm gonna do first is I'm actually gonna go to the Pokemon station because that's what's that's what responsible trainers do I'm gonna heal all these Pokemon right here alrighty let's go nurse joy please help me out look at that I, I really do like it how it looks right here now I do have a nice diverse team not gonna use them all, but I will try and actually get these guys to actually heal up and, uh, well, get level up and all that stuff. Now, to actually fix a mistake right here, let's go ahead and rate a nickname. Okay, so like I was saying, guys, Yamper's Evolution, Bolton, actually reminds me of a Pokemon or of a, a character. A move that I watched back when I was a kid, and it happened to be the uh, Wolf Dog. Balto, so that is exactly what we're going to be calling this guy right here. We're going to be calling him Balto. That's right. I'm that old, guys. I'm really that old. Holy crud. So here we go. Balto, welcome to the team. Yes. It does seem fit. It does seem to fit nicely right here. So what we're going to do right now is, well, I got to... Yeah, I got to... I think I'm going to have to buy some stuff. Hold on. Well, you can actually buy Pokeballs now. Uh, yeah, it never hurts to have a little bit more. It never hurts to have a little bit more right here. So I'm going to spend on 10 potions, and that will be it right there. Now, the next area that we're going to be going to, it is a big spot. A major spot for all of you guys to actually train your Pokemon. And, well, let's see. This guy is waiting for us right here. Look at this guy. So out with it, Draven. How many did you catch? I caught a really special one. And you got yourself... Ooh, just one! Looks like we're all at a draw. Though we are rivals at all, that's fair. Hmm. And look at that. He gives us the TM40 Swift. And, well... It, you know, it just shows you. Star -shaped, or star shaped rays are shot by a poison Pokemon. This attack never misses. That's a technical machine, a TM, mate. With a TM like that, you can teach your Pokemon a new move in a flash. And you can use them again and again, too. That one can teach the move Swift. Lee gave it to me ages ago, and it's yours. The gym challenge will begin in Motostoke. And our train is waiting, so let's go. Okay, so it looks like to us that we're going to be going to Motostoke. Motostoke. And, well, here we are going into it. And, of course, we're getting uh, called by Hop's mom. Not so fast, you two. Look at that. What are you doing here, Mom? I knew this day was coming since the moment you chose Sobble as a partner, darling. And look at Mama. She's like, Professor Magnolia was kind enough to let us know that you two were setting out. So here, a last gift to see, uh, uh last gift to see you well set on your way. All the kit you'll need to, for camping. And look at that. We got ourselves camping gear. Actually, very spe a very, a, a very nice item to actually you know get more experience points for your Pokemon right there everything you need to set up a tent and cooking in the wild area for a camping spot that's cool no matter what happens out there if you and your partner are together I know you'll be fine thanks mom and just to think about uh, how lucky you are mother to the first ever pair of champion brothers again you still haven't won man you already laid claim to the championship and <laughs> oh yeah man you're in you are in for a rude awakening 
Because I'm certain to be the champion and next or the next champion you'll see. Of course you will be, darling. Anyway, do you have fun, take care of yourselves. You'll be welcome back at home anytime. Okay, we'll be fine. That's what I always say. Wish us luck. Not that I'll, not, not that we'll need it. There are loads of brilliant trainers and all kinds of Pokemon out there waiting for us. My excitement's running, uh, running ahead of me even faster than the train can go, Draven. Come on, we're off. Okay. Alrighty, so here we are, guys, going into a train, and it's looking like we're going to be going into Hogwarts. Watch. Just watch. Just wait. Look at that. It looks like we're going to Hogwarts, and what the hell are we listening to? Look, oh, wow. <laughs> Just like in real life, we're only paying attention to our phones, not to anything else. And as you can read right there, guys, it's a real sight for all sorts of Pokemon wandering about. Plus, you can camp out in a spot for fishing. I don't think you could ever get tired of it. Hmm. This is true, guys. This place is a special one. Okay. Well... It would seem that we're here... And this guy is looking at us. Hey, Mr. Station Master, isn't this the wild area? What are we supposed to... Uh, what are we stopped here for? Yes, this is the wild station or wild area station. Make no mistake. I'm sorry to tell you that the train has halted due to a flock of Wulu on the tracks. Uh, what's there to be sorry about? This is brilliant. Brilliant? Really? This wild area is massive. There are loads of Pokemon out uh, to battle here. You get it, don't you, Draven? This is the best possible place to put, uh, to put together the greatest team. Hmm, you don't say. Okay, so... First thing is first, guys. Now, let's see. Who is it that you need to talk to? Okay, so if you talk to this guy... Let's see. It seems like my children are giving something to people who uh, had a Let's Go experience. But what in the world is a Let's Go experience? Do you have any idea? Probably. So, here's the thing, guys. If you played Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee, these two individuals will give you a Pikachu or an Eevee. Now, if you do have the data in your in your uh, Nintendo Switch, they'll give you both. So, let's go ahead and talk to this guy right here. Hey, have you ever Eevee had an... Uh... Oh, I knew it! You've had a Let's Go experience with Eevee, haven't you? I hope you'll have another Let's Go experience with this Eevee, too! So, here it is, guys. We got ourselves an Eevee. Look at that, okay, easy, easy money right there. And this guy, Eevee, the evolution Pokemon, it has an uh, ability to alter its compositions of its body to suit its surrounding environment. And no, we're not giving you guys a nickname right here. And you know what, we're gonna add this Pokemon to our party right here because, you know, it's an Eevee. Now, how is it that I can get an Eevee? Well, yes, as you probably already know, you guys are probably already watching it. I am playing and I'm actually featuring Pokemon Let's Go Eevee as Stacy. So, we're going to be switching this guy right here to Wooloo. Don't worry, guys. We're going to be seeing these Pokemon pretty soon here. The Eevee I gave you is special, you know? You should definitely Dynamax it. Hmm, you don't say. Now, if you talk to this girl right here... Hey, have you had, have you and Pikachu had a, I knew it! You had a Let's Go experience with Pikachu, didn't you? I hope you'll have another Let's Go experience with this Pikachu too. And would you look at that, guys. We got ourselves another Pikachu. And it's a female Pikachu. So, as you can see, guys, Pikachu, the mouse Pokemon. Pikachu that can get, or Pikachu that can generate powerful electricity have seek or have cheek sacks that are extra soft and super stretchy. Now this is a female Pikachu. Yes, sir, yes, sir. We are going to nickname this Pokemon to something very, very special. Yes, this Pikachu is dedicated to my niece Aaliyah, whom, by the way, last week left me for Hawaii and all that stuff. So baby, if you're watching this video, come visit me pretty soon. Seriously, I miss you. I really do. So here it is, guys. Welcome back to Aaliyah. Now, like I said, guys, I will be featuring different Pokemon teams that, or Pokemon from the different teams that I've had in my main walkthrough. So don't be don't be too surprised if you see some of the same Pokemon here. Now, let's go ahead and add this Pokemon to my party. Yes, I do have two Electric type Pokemon, but trust me, this guy won't be won't be staying on my team very very long. So let's go ahead and switch out Blipbug, and look at that. The Pikachu I gave you is very special. You should try dy Dynamaxing it. So now, here's the thing between the Eevee and the Pikachu that we've gotten. 
So if we go into its uh, summary right here, you can see that this Pokemon by its name has an X. That means that it can actually take a different form when it Dynamaxes. As you can see, it has pretty good, uh, pretty good abilities right here and all that stuff. And it does have a very, very, very good uh, move set for right now. Now let's go ahead and take a look at Eevee right here. Check the summary, and this Pokemon right here too has an X right by its name. It does have a very, very special ability. Now here is the thing too. These two Pokemon, or Pikachu and Eevee, you cannot evolve them. It doesn't matter what stone you put on them, you cannot evolve them. These are very, very special Pokemon, but don't worry, guys. You can find more Eevees, more Pikachus out in the wild where we're going to be going to, and you can evolve those guys. But these two Pokemon, since it, they, they both come from Pokemon Let's Go, Pikachu and Eevee, these guys are very special Dynamax Pokemon right here. So we're going to be trying them out in this game, and yeah, hopefully in this episode right here too. And uh, let's see. Um, this guy you can actually sell. Yeah, you can actually sell some stuff right here or buy some stuff. Let's see what he has. Same, well, pretty much the same stuff right here. So let's get the heck out of here. And, uh, well, let's find our way through the wild area to reach Motostoke. Okay, alrighty. So this is the place that I've been, I've mostly been looking forward to. As you can see, this place is glowing. And there's one big old spot right there that we need to go to eventually. So, look at this, look at this. Now, if you talk to this individual, this person will heal your Pokemon. Look at that, okay? And, well, there is an, there will be an individual right there that will actually help you out with your bike and everything else. Now, in this area alone, you can actually use the other, uh, well, the other toggle button to actually move around and see your surroundings. Now, this place right here is a very special one because you'll, you're going to be able to find a boatload of Pokemon Believe it or not, guys, before the gym, the first gym battle, you're going to have your a full team ready. Now, here's your buddy Hop, and he's like, look at that! Look at that. That's Motosoke off, uh, way off in the way. And between there and here are countless new Pokemon waiting to be met. Oh, hello! And if it isn't Sonya, well, hello, hello there. Mmm! Mm -mm -mm. My grand gave me a proper earful in her own way. Those two young trainers are setting out on a journey, but what are you doing in your life? Wow. <laughs> that sounds rough. It really does. Kind of sounds familiar. Ah, uh, never you mind that. Nothing to worry about yourselves over. Besides, I'd been quite curious about that Pokemon you two met in the forest. I've been thinking I should look into it, so the timing works out fine. If I discover something really huge, then maybe even Gran will admit that I've got some talent. Yikes! Being an adult has got its own challenges, eh? Yeah, guys, trust me, it really does. Bills, insurance, and all that stuff, your health, good god. I say you needn't to worry about it. I'm glad to be on the road. Really, it's been ages. It'll be great fun to fish and camp and rough, uh, rough it out outside again. Well, I'm out. Well, I'm off to go stick my head in, its, uh, in as many of those red glowing dens as I can. I'm going to battle the snot out of the bunch of Dynamax Pokemon and fill another page in the tale of my legend. Holy crud, this guy and his legend. Wow. Uh, yeah, I'm flipping you off, but... What cheek? Dynamax Pokemon are really another level, you know? You better Dynamax your partner Pokemon, too, if you want to take on opponents that strong. Hmm. You'll find spots here that are the wild area and they emit a red beam of light. If you think you're up to it, check them out. There'll be Dynamax Pokemon lurking inside. So that, how about I send you off with a little treat from me? Sure. And here we have a Pokemon or Pokebox Link. Now, this is the same thing that you actually you can actually find in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. You can actually you know, transfer Pokemon while you're on the road right here. It took me quite a while to actually figure this thing out. As it, could say, uh, as it says right here, a device that allows you to access the Pokemon storage system. I pretty much explained this the whole thing right here, so never mind. So, what it says right here, you can use the Pokemon Box link to access your Pokeboxes while you're on the road. You'll be able to add Pokemon on your party or, party or transfer Pokemon from your box. You can access your box by selecting Pokemon from the X menu and then pressing the R button, which is pretty tight, guys, because... 
I mean, this ag- this actually adds a whole new dimension to trying to switch up your team and everything. So, what it says right here, with a Pokemon box link, you'll be able to put Pokemon from your team into your boxes or take Pokemon from your boxes and add them to your team. Nice, right? So go wild ca- catching as many Pokemon as you ca- uh, like and fill some of more of your Pokédex. The wild area is waiting for you. This is the start of a real adventure. Okay. Alrighty, guys. So uh, here it is. Look at that. Look at the place. Look at this place. Holy crud. Now, this whole place, like the majority of you guys' time, is going to be spent into this area alone just because... Of the many Pokemon that you can actually find right here. Now, there is a little something here that we need to actually take care of. I think I'm, I think I forgot about one little thing right here. Now, if, I think if you talk to this girl, she says, You'll run into stronger Pokemon farther along in the wild area. If you feel like you're in a pinch during battle, just use a Poke Doll. And look at that. We get ourselves five Poke Dolls. Believe me, believe me when I say this, guys. Poke dolls right now at this stage, they are very, very important, especially in the wild area. As you can see, you can actually attract these Pokemon right here and you can just run away. No matter how strong the Pokemon is, you'll be able to catch it eventually. So, so long as you join the gym challenge and gather the gym badges. So, basically guys, the, lim the new limitation right here is that the amount of gym badges that you get it actually progresses your ability to capture stronger Pokemon because trust me guys when I say this you're gonna find some very very strong Pokemon right here and well here it is guys we're in the rolling fields now in different locations you're gonna be able to see different kind of weather changes and all that stuff as you can see here is an onyx now if you see a Pokemon walking like this do not go well and you're at this level right now do not go anywhere near it because they are gonna be very very strong now, eventually, you're going to grow your Pokemon to be a little stronger, but if you do have a type advantage, that is great. Now, here, we found, uh, well, we found a note. Did somebody drop it here? Cooking at your camp can restore HP to your Pokemon, even if their PP needs to use their moves over and over. Pokemon that have fainted in camp battle any longer will poke up right up as uh, well with a piping of hot plate curry before them. Huh. Visit the berry trees to collect the berries so you can always make more curries. Guys, this place is a huge place to actually find uh, berries and all that stuff, and they always regroup. So make sure, make sure to at least shake it three times because uh, there will always be a Pokemon falling down. And good God, as you can see, we found ourselves our first Pokemon, and it is a Swovit. Now it is hailing. I am in no condition to do to mess with right there, so we're gonna be running around everywhere. Now, after that happens, yes, they will take half of the... Oh, wow, there's nothing. Wow, they took my fucking berries. Good God. All right, so we're going to be going to the place that you guys have been uh, wanting to see. Now, if you see rocks like this and something beaming like that very, very intensely, there's going to be a Pokemon involved. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do this. As you can see, the pillars of red light, you'll see wild area. Pokemon dens. Dynamax Pokemon dwell in these dens, and you'll be able to catch them by investigating the den. You can start the battle on your own, or get up to the tree, uh, to three players to help you out. So, as you can see, you will always get more wattage, and then after that, you'll be able to battle a Pokemon. As you can see, the max raid battles basically means defeat a Dynamax Pokemon, and you'll get a chance of catching it. Additionally, there are some rare items that you can only obtain while battling a Dynamax Pokemon. When the wild Pokemon uh, Dynamax, they become incredibly powerful. They may unleash multiple moves in a row and take other actions that you won't see in, in regular battles. Working together with other trainers will, uh, will be the key to take one of these Dynam Dynamax Pokemon together as a team of four. So, what we're looking at right now, it is a normal and flying type Pokemon. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually switch up my Pokemon right here. And I'm actually going to go with Leah because it does have a Dynamax form. And we're not going to involve anybody else. Other trainers will be involved. So here it is, guys. Our very first Dynamax battle. And we got three other individuals. And we are taking on a P-Dub. Look at that. So here it is. We're going with Aaliyah. And bam. We're getting started with this whole Dynamax thing. 
Took me quite a while to do this, but might as well do it right now. Let's go right ahead and, uh, wow, we don't even have that much. Wow, we don't even have that much, so fuck it. Let's go. We're going to Dynamax this whole thing. So here it is. We're bringing down Pikachu. And since it does have an X onto its name, it does have a Dynamax form. That Dynamax form is that its tail is a little bit longer and it's a little bit fatter and all that stuff. Look at that. Wow. And look at it. Look, look at the icon right there. Holy crud. So Jolteon, of course, going with Electro, uh, Electro Ball right here. Let's go with the Max Strike. And bam, it takes a little bit of its HP. Now remember, the Dynamax form does decrease, or it does go away after a while. Now if the Dynamax Pokemon manage to defeat all of your Pokemon at the same time, or defeat you four times, or any of these Pokemon four times, then you'll get blown away and you'll lose the Dynamax. And as you can see right here, it just wrecked the crud out of my uh, Clefable friend right here. And luckily these guys have Focus Sash and all that stuff, and well, our speed has fallen. So let's go right ahead and go for another Max Strike. And well, Gita going with a Quick Attack, nearly making this Pokemon faint, and look at that. Thanks to that Jolteon right there, we're getting a chance to actually beat this guy right here. So here we go, Max Strike. Nearly takes this guy out. Holy crud, and it's a critical hit right there, and his speed is falling some more, so now, we got two more people here that can actually beat this guy, so let's go right ahead and have that Dazzling Gleam beat this guy right here. And there you go. Sets him on fire. <laughs> Alrighty, so here it's time to capture this Pokemon right here. And honestly, I don't think you will ever miss. You just have to defeat the Pokemon in a Dynamax form right here. So there it is, throwing that big-ass Pokeball at him. And bam! There we go. P of one, two, here we go, and three. Yeah, buddy, we caught this P of. Bam. So what'd you guys think? It was a pretty good experience right there because I think it was. And look at that. Look at the amount of things that we got. We got seven experience candies, extra small, uh, two experience candies, small, and then we got Dynamax candies, we got the TR Sleep Talk, which is basically what TMs used to be back in the day, where it was one of use of one. And that's pretty much it right there, so... Holy crud, look at that. Okay, so we're adding this guy's uh, data right here, and it is the Tiny Pigeon Pokemon. Normal and Flying, where people go, these Pokemon follow. If you if they're scattering food for, for them, be careful, several hundred of them can gather at once. That is basically called a murder if it was a, uh, yeah, if it was a, uh, whatchamacallit. Yeah. Now, I don't think I ever used the P-Dove on my team before, did I? No, I don't think so. Probably. I don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this summary right here. P-Dove level 16. So already we've got our strongest Pokemon right here. And it's Dynamax level right there at 1. Big Beaks protects it from its defense low lowering attacks. And it does have some pretty good attacks right here. So I might just be able to put him on my team at any time. We're going to stick him into the PC for right now. And, uh, well, that is that right there, guys. So that goes away. And now our mission is to actually try and capture as many Pokemon as possible. Collect as many Wads as possible. And get ourselves to uh, Motostoke right there. Now, this place right here, there are different areas, different weather temperatures and all that stuff. Different kinds of Pokemon. Now, let's go ahead and, he and see right here. Now, this guy will actually sell you some ingredients for, for you to cook. And, well, right now, I'm not really in the mood to cook right here. But, eventually, we'll get there. Now, like I said, there are different Pokemon right here that you can actually find. You can actually capture and all that stuff. Hell... The the Pokemon that you know you can actually find in these rocks it actually depends. Now here we have another note. Use the right stick to rotate the camera when you're in the wild area, and if you press the right stick, you'll find a, a wider view of things. Press the L button to look straight ahead again. So as you can see, bam, and then press the right. I'm trying to press it. I'm pressing right now. Never mind. And holy crud! Do you not want to get attacked by that guy? Because that guy's probably like at level 30. 
And, well, let's go right ahead and jump into this. You press the A button right here, and you'll actually collect 50 uh, watts. So the, the best thing for you to do right now, guys, is to actually collect these. That way you can actually buy some more stuff. And, well, as you can see, there are a lot of Pokemon right here that you can actually find. Some of these Pokemon will actually run straight at you, so just be careful now. As you can see, you can find Tyrogue right here, so I'm going to let them run after me. So there it is, guys, a Tyrogue. It's another Pokemon you can actually use on your team and all that crud. Trust me, guys, I'm, a, I'm very, very excited for this. So I'm going to use a Peck Attack and try and, well, gain some more levels right here. Because that is the name of the game right here. And, well, this guy is going with a Focus Energy Attack right here. And, well, we're getting hit by Hail. So just remember that, you know, there will always be weather effects right here. And, well, let's go ahead with the power trip. That way we don't make this Pokemon fan at all. And, well, he misses at that. So let's go power trip. And that wasn't a lot. So, crud baskets. Okay, so, yeah, he's also getting hit by hail. So no matter how you see it, we're still going to capture this guy right here. So let's go right ahead and capture him. One, two, three. There it is, guys. I caught this guy throwing out that peace sign. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. So, more experience points for all of us right there. Look at that. Everybody's gaining points. And, of course, Optimus is learning Razor Leaf, a much-needed attack right here. So, what I'm going to do is take away Growl. And, well, two and three. And ta-da. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty. So, what are we looking at right here? Tyrogue, the fighting-type Pokemon. It is the Scuffle Pokemon. It is always bursting with energy to make itself stronger. It keeps on fighting even if it loses. Yeah. Alright, so we're not going to nickname this guy, but we need to take a look at this guy's summary because... You can evolve this Pokemon into three different types of Pokemon at level 20. And as you can probably see right here, it all depends on its attack and defense. From what I'm looking at, it is going to be a Hitmonlee, since its defense is higher than its attack. Now, if its defense... If its attack is higher than its defense, it's going to be Hitmonchan, and if they're both even, it's going to be a Hitmon top. Correct me if I'm wrong with the first one right there, guys. And, well, let's go right ahead and get some more some more wattage right here. That way we can we can buy some more TRs and all that crud. So, holy crud. I'm going to press that button right there. Holy crud, hold on. Again, I don't want to get attacked by any of these Pokemon right now. So, what I'm going to do right now in this episode right here, guys, I'm just going to... We're just going to pass by a few things. Battle a few Pokemon. Hell, I might even do two more uh, Dynamax battles. And then after that, we're going to head on into there. And then, uh, well... I kind of want to train my Pokemon. I kind of want to just, like, battle as many Pokemon as I can. Get my team a little bit ready. Uh, yeah, I will be doing a lot of off-screen stuff. And then... You know what? Hopefully transferring some Pokemon from my Pokemon Shield uh, walkthrough, or Pokemon Shield game. So, let's go right ahead and take a look at this one right here. So, here we have 300, and we're going to be going up against a Fairy-type Pokemon. So, let's go ahead and switch out a Pokemon right here. Um, we don't have the proper Pokemon right now, so let's go right ahead and use Optimus for the time being. Since it is our strongest Pokemon, and, well, let's do not involve Pokemon, and let the... Let's... Let's just get this going right here. You guys can't tell. I'm very, very excited for this game. And obviously, a lot of these episodes are going to be a little bit longer than usual than the most walkthroughs right here. So as you can see, we're going up against a Dynamax Cle uh, Cleffa. And bam. We're getting energy. Let's go right ahead and uh, yes. Mega, or not Mega Evolve, but yeah. Dynamax. Now, we're the only ones at Dynamax right here. I do not know why, so comment down below, guys, and let me know what that, what, what's that all about right there. So, here we go. Dynamax Pokemon, let's go. Look at this guy. Optimal Optimus, ready to kick some butt right here. Okay, so, let's see, who's faster? Oh, crap. Okay, so never mind. Salazzle has, does have Sludge Bomb, which is a pretty good move right here. And for some odd reason, that Magikarp knows Hydro Pump. <laughs> That's hilarious. And here we have Max Ogre Overgrowth. With an attack like this, it actually has a field, uh, a field effect. It actually heals up every single Pokemon. So 
we really need to beat this guy really quickly. As you can see, we're pretty much dominating this Clefa right here. And here comes a Max Starfall. And... Wow! So, there goes Throw. And because of that, its Cloud is going to get a little stronger. And crud, the field has been changed to a Fairy-type uh, move. Holy crud, the miss. And so, there goes Throw. And as you can see, its cloud is raging a little bit, uh, a little bit bigger. Now, if it beats, if it beats four Pokemon, we're gonna be knocked out of this game. There's no money taken out or anything like that. And would you look at that? We defeated this guy right here. So we didn't really need to do anything. So now it is time for us to actually capture this guy. All right, let's capture this little girl or guy or whatever it is. Not trying to genderize or anything, guys. So here we go, big old Pokeball. Let's go. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Look at that. Man, I'm really liking the Dynamax forms right now. Two. Come on. Stay in there. Three. And there it is, guys. I'm throwing out that peace sign right now. Throwing out the peace sign. What's up? Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. And look at that. We're going to be building up a lot on experience candies. Now, if you guys don't know what these guys are, they're basically like pre, pre what you call it, rare candies to the whole candy, uh, rare candy things. And look at that, we get ourselves a dazzling gleam attack. So that's wow, this is fantastic, right here, guys. I'm really, really loving this. And well, we're adding it to the Pokédex, and it is the star-shaped Pokémon. It is a fairy-type Pokémon in here. And look at this. According to the local rumors, Clefa are often seen in places where shooting stars have fallen. And well, I am not going to nickname them, and I am not gonna, I'm not going to put them on my team just yet. But look at that. We've taken care of this now. One thing that I should recommend to you guys is always check the trees right here because you'll always find some kind of item. And from from what I'm looking at, uh, there's nothing right here right now. But there, there will always be some kind of item around these areas right here. Now, let's go right ahead and go to an, uh, go to another section. That way we can actually like you know broaden our horizons a little bit now again guys if you do see a Pokemon roaming around here and I did see a sparkle right there look at that we found ourselves a tiny mushroom if you do see a Pokemon roaming around here it right now at this level do not go after it why because uh, they will be at level around the level f well want to say 20s 30s and you guys are not up for it right now. They will kick your butt. Uh, escaping is pretty much futile, like they say. That's why they gave you the... Uh, well, that's why the person gave you uh, the Clefa Berry... Or the Clefa... Uh, the Clefairy Dolls, because... That's the only way you're going to be able to escape these high-level Pokemon. So now, let's go right ahead and see this. The large Pokemon you see wandering around in the area are strong. If you try b battling one, it, and it seems like you're in an over your head, try and run. Run like the wind. Well... I am not going to do that because uh, I am going to get fustigated right there. And I only have five, uh, yeah, five Clefairy dolls. So, yeah, we're trying to wait on that right there. And, well, as you can see, there are more Pokemon right here that you can actually find. So, we're going to be collecting some stuff. I'm going to be going through some areas. And then, uh, well, off screen, I will be going through these er uh Well, be getting more of these Pokemon right here. So, let's see. What area are we in right now? I, I hear Tyrogue, and I do not want to mess with that guy right now. And look at that. May, may look little, but it will still battle you right there. Now, do we find something? Yes, we are going to find a, a, a TM right here, a Tail Slab. So that's good right there. And yes, we can actually hit somebody. And there is another big old piece of light right there I will try and go over there a little bit later on but I'm trying to show you guys the other areas that you can actually find right here so let's see let's see there's nothing else there are different Pokemon right here and uh, it is still snowing holy crap and look at that pile of swine is out here roaming around like it's you know it's the boss of everything and here we are in the dappled grove so now you're gonna be finding some more Pokemon right here like water type Pokemon Look at that. They're going to be following you everywhere. And <laughs> look at that. One of those guys. So let's see if we can actually find something right here. Nothing. Just make sure to sneak by. Try not to get hit by any of these guys right here, guys. And, well, whoop. 
I'm not going to try and get... Well, yeah, I'm not trying to get hit by any of these guys right here. So let's go ahead and try and get some more berries right here. Here we go. That's one. Let's get another one. Two. All right. So here we go. Get another one right here. And good God. Another Squovent. Good gravy. Now, as you can see, there is a lightning pouring around right here. So this is crazy. And, well, this actually helps out Electric-type Pokemon, but we are not going to be doing that right now because, uh, yeah, we're not we're not trying to lose anything. And look at that. We lost all the Orin Berries, but we did get ourselves some berries. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. So what would you like to do? I want to spend my watts. And, as you can see, he does sell some Dust Balls for 50, uh, 50 watts. A Wishing Piece that will actually attract some Dynamax Pokemon. And then everything else right here, like... Fire Blast, Super Power, po Poison Jab, Stored Power, and Psychic. They all cost, you know, a nice, a pretty penny right here. Now, again, these are TRs. These are pretty much what TMs used to be in the older generation. You can only use them once, but they are very, very useful to actually have. Now, here's a Sparkle. Maybe finding a tiny mushroom right there. And, well, we're going to actually try and get some more berries right here. Now, like I said, guys, I'm going to try and, uh, well, I'm going to be leveling up my Pokemon off screen. And there it is. I'm over, I'm not going to be in over my head. I did get myself a quite a few berries right there. Four Oran berries, one Pomeg berry, and one Chesto berry, and a Peck berry. Look at that. Okay, all right. So, let's see. We got plenty of places that we can go to to actually battle some Pokemon right here. And... Holy bejeebus, did I... Okay, so you better you better stay away from that guy right there, because he will mess you up. And, well, let's go right ahead and... Ooh, look at that. Raiden's right there. And grab that in right there. So here we have the energy route. And, like, as you guys can see... As you guys can see, you can find yourself some, uh, some electric-type Pokemon right here. And, uh, well... I'm trying not to battle. I'm trying not to battle any of these Pokemon right now. I'm just trying to collect some uh, Watts. I will be showcasing one more battle before we even get to the uh, to Moto Stoke right here. So, do not worry, guys. I'm going to take care of this. I will be taking care of this. And well, here it is, a Rossberry and another one. And of course, we're going to be getting attacked by another Pokemon. Seriously? Ah, oh, crap, baskets. <sighs> oh, gravy. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to we're not going to mess with you right now. Level 15 Squovit. You suck, man. And well, you know, getting attacked by a Pokémon like that, we lose berries, so that is a uh, that is a downside to the whole getting the berries part. So I'm going to be doing that a little bit later on, guys. I do need to battle these Pokémon just to get more levels. I'm not trying to be lazy. Now, here we are in the Watchtower ruins. In this area right here, you're actually going to be you're actually going to be getting attacked by some dark types, some some uh, what you call it, some ghost types. So just be aware of that. Some of these ghost type Pokemon are a little strong, so I'm actually going to be moving to, towards the other area right here. That way we don't get attacked. And look at that. That guy's uh, walking around like he's nothing. And well, you know what? Oh, wow. There's a lot of sparkly areas right here. Okay, so we're going to be grabbing these items right here. As you can see, you're going to be finding a lot of items on the ground. Make sure to keep them. Some of them are high-valued areas right there, guys. And, you know, I'm just going to say this right now. You won't ever run out of money. It's a very, very good thing. And, uh, well, let's see. If there's anything else that we need to do here. Like, this is... Literally, guys, this is a big area. Wow, I don't even think I can, I'm going to be able to cover this all in one episode because my idea is that I kind of want to actually battle every single one of these guys and capture as many Pokemon as possible. And from here, just build my team. So what's going to happen... Wow, I do not want to mess with these Diglets right now. So what's going to happen right now, guys, is we're going to probably spend another episode right here. Wow. These guys are not making it easy for me. They really aren't. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's see. So what's 
so what's going to happen, I just changed my mind, what is going to happen right here guys, because I kind of feel if I go off screen and everything, and I accidentally evolve a Pokemon, it, it's just going to be all, you know, messed up. So, what's going to happen right here, guys, is in the next episode, we're going to be having a nice uh, free-for-all battle and capture Pokemon. We might be capturing some of the same Pokemon. It doesn't matter, but we're probably going to be taking one more episode in order to get to Motostoke. And from what I remember in Pokemon Shield... My Pokemon were a little bit higher levels than this, so yeah, we're going to be doing a lot of training and a lot of battling. So again, guys, thank you guys for watching. Happy 10-year anniversary to this channel right here. In the next episode, we're just going to be talking stories, talking shop, battling as many Pokemon as possible, and capturing them all. So thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.